Hey, 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 how's it going, everyone? Welcome to another video. Today, we're talking about the most underrated OBS plugin of all time. Yes, that's right. We are talking about StreamUp Plugin Installer V2. I'm Morgan Z, content creator, live streamer, gamer. Are you ready to jump on the journey with me? Three, two, one, let's do this. Here is where you can find the plugin, streamup.tips. Just got to scroll down a bit until you find StreamUp Plugin Installer V2. You can download it for free. Just by putting in zero. Get now. We'll ask you for your email address. So you put in your email address and then your name. And you go check out, it's zero anyway, so you won't be charged. And then it will redirect you to the Discord server. Now, if you haven't started plugin installer v2 with admin rights, it will let you know that you have to set elevator rights or admin rights. And if you click yes, it will do it, otherwise, no. So we click into yes. We will ask you for admin rights, black screen, and there you go. So this is the plugin installer. So how it works is you have a few tabs, so required plugins. Required plugins are the one used for streamer products. So don't worry about those ones. I would highly recommend to download all the recommended plugins, which are, for example, 3D effect, advanced masks, Advanced Scene Switcher, iTunes Multistream. I'll make a video about it very, very soon. iTunes Vertical, Audio Monitor. Uh, you have Downstream, Kia, Composite Blur. Anyway, so those are the recommended ones. I will highly recommend you to download them. Then you go Require and Recommend it. All plugins outdated. This is very important. If you download with the first batch of plugins, you download the stream up plugin which is basically the the version one of this plugin which is this one stream up just have to select it what it does is it will give you a few other functionalities to your plugins for example if you have any outdated plugins when you start up obs it will give you the pop-up as you can see here that redirects you to stream up to download them let's say you pick a few plugins you gotta make sure here right here that that the folder is set to your main obs studio if not just click on this icon and look for your obs so you go program files and then you find obs when you select the obs folder it will give you a warning. You select an OBS to the director. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes. When you select your plugins that you want to download, for example, there is one plugin that I've been meaning to download, but I keep forgetting, which is the composite blur. So I'm going to select it. Then all you have to do is download plugin. It will say, look, OBS is open. Do you want me to close it for you? So I can install the plugins. You just say yes. I'm recording, so I'm not gonna do that. So I will say no. Once you click on the load plugin, as you can see here, it will install the plugin. And then once you're done, you just reopen your OBS and all the new plugins will be installed. How easy is this? So who is this plugin for? Well, Anybody who uses OBS, from live streamers to content creators, people who records, literally anyone. Is this a phenomenal plugin that helps you do crazy stuff? No. But this is very, very useful plugin because it optimizes your workflow so you can spend less time worrying about OBS and updating them and you can actually concentrate in making better content if you like this video i'm sure you will like this video next until next week for all mates